What's up, guys? We are on the way to Lake Uvalde. Kind of in between Georgia and Alabama. Also known as the big bass capital of the world. So we're gonna go catch some pigs. So we're making a short trip. I've been doing a lot of homework, but I want to go check out some areas. Maybe see some alligators. I'm really excited about that. Um, I might try to put one in the boat. Might be legal, but I mean, come on. Um, got a few areas I want to go check out. Mid lower lake. Um, my street is shallow water fishing. That's where I want to be, but it's cool. I mean, it's 66 degrees right now. So, they should be starting to group back up. Everybody knows Ufala is full. And when I say full, I'm talking thousands upon thousands of brush piles. I mean, DC just won Redcrest throwing a jerk bait on brush piles. So, brush piles, brush piles, brush piles. They're on ledges because the Chattahoochee River's running through there, so we got some ledge fishing we can do. But if I can get away with it, we're going shallow. I'm going to be throwing a frog, buzz bait, something top water. That's the way I would like to do it, or flipping some bushes, preferably. There's some grass there we can fish. It's got a lot of options what you can do and you follow. But if you get on them, get you a 25, 25 pound bag of bass. 25 pounds, I think. So our classic is in April, or sorry, classic's in October. Uh, it's the first week of October, and I'm saying at least 40 pounds, 20 pounds a day. Um, I think 40 pounds, 45 pounds wins it. So we got some hammers. I got my work cut out for me, for us. Aaron, say hey. Hi. She's recording. So. Not very well. <laughs> oh, Lord. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a bumpy ride. Um, yeah, we're in the truck. So. <laughs> but we are going to go do a little pre fishing. Hopefully, we'll have something to show you. Maybe. Make sure you have everything. But I will we'll give a really good recap of how the classic goes. Obviously, I'll be recording gonna be doing a lot more videos it's kind of like part two of fishing season summer's kind of over we're after labor day by the way i hope you all had a great labor day um so we're over that it's football season i got my orange on go tigers clumps and tigers um i don't want to talk about any else body else's football teams because i really don't care i care about clemson your teams can all lose so we're on the way we've got about an hour and it will be you follow we'll see y'all on the water let's go
What's up guys? Day two or maybe three of this video. Sorry, it was just taking me a little bit of time to put it together, but I wanna make sure I get some good content. But more importantly, I'm back out practicing. Um, Classic comes up in a week for our club, the Georgia Bass Trail. So out trying to make sure I am dialed in. Uh, wanna finish the year strong. I think we got 30, 32 boats that are going to be competing in this deal. So we're number 27 to blast off the first day. So we'll see how it does. This video come out this week. I just saw a, uh, we got some schoolers in front of me. We like that. So I feel like I'm in a good spot of the lake. So going to get a little bit more fishing done. Going to bring y'all along. Didn't bring a GoPro because I left like a genius from the house. So, but we're out here graphing around a little bit. Going to do some fishing get on something so we'll check back in and well 
We're out here. First spot. Saw him. Saw him on active target down here. But they don't want to cooperate. So off to spot number two. See if we can show y'all a little green fish from this little local pond. Pull up. And first fish of the day. A little catfish. Everybody loves a Ned Rig. But you're the wrong species, bro. Wrong one. Gotta get you off. Come on in the boat. A little channel cat. But he likes the Ned Rig. We can get you on hook, bro. See you later. There he goes. Satisfied customer. Nice doing business with you. Nice. Largey on the crankbait. He ate that guy getting his boat and he is not coming off oh yeah on this bro I think he wanted it what y'all think did he want that guy Man. out here fishing on West Point fishing's not really good but this guy no lie other than striper it's the biggest bass I've ever caught on West Point. He's probably three pounds. Well, that's it. Change of scenery back in the shop and doing some final rigging. I know what I gotta do for the weekend. Uh, I've got a good game plan, so Aaron and I are just gotta go out and execute. And hopefully the fish are there. That's the most important part, because if we're doing what we need to do and the fish aren't there, we're going to have to think on the fly and, and make some moves, but I'm very confident where we'll be. So stay tuned. Um, and hopefully we'll be on them. I'm thinking if we can catch 15 to 18 pounds a day, we'll be fine. So 30 something boats, I think 32 boats, 37 boats, something like that. But do me a favor, like, I mean, I hope y'all like the videos. I'm trying to do better. I've been slack, but I got a, a GoPro's going now. It was a charging cable. That was that was my whole problem. So new charging cable. It's not a thousand degrees outside anymore. So all the more reason to get out and fish. The crankbait bite is good. Fish are coming back shallow. They're feeding on shad. Everybody knows the fall patterns. So we'll be doing a lot more fishing. Got a couple of derbies coming up before the new season for Georgia Bass Trail kicks off, which is in December this year. So a little different thing. So should be good, be different, be cold again, but I'd rather be cold than hot. So anyways, stay tuned, like, comment, and I, I appreciate you all for uh, following along with my journey, trying to learn how to fish because uh, pond fishing and fishing out here on these big lakes totally different so let's get after it